Education Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. Yeah, welcome to Future Mobile e-learning platform. I'm Oloko Bikpadimi by name, the commerce, future, uh, the commerce tutor or um, teacher. So in this class, we'll be treating um, the topic warehousing and we'll be looking at the definition of warehousing, types of warehousing, factors to be considered in citing a warehouse, while we look at the advantages of warehousing and disadvantages of warehousing. Now the first thing we have is the definition of warehousing. Generally, warehousing is out of storing or keeping a goods in a place until such goods are needed. So goods are being kept in a safe place until they are needed. And warehousing ensures regular and steady supply of goods. So it helps to ensure regular and steady supply of goods. So we have the next thing in line of so we have the types of warehouse. So we have the following types of warehouse. Number one, we have the bonded warehouse. Number two, we have um, this uh, state warehouse. Number three, we have um, the wholesale warehouse. Then the wholesale warehouse. And we have number four, the retailer warehouse. So number five, uh, number five, we have the public warehouse. And number six, we have the manufacturer warehouse. And the first warehouse, the bonded warehouse. So the bonded warehouse is the warehouse or is the place where goods, whose custom duties have not been paid are kept until such goods uh, such duties are what are settled. So custom the goods in which custom duties have not been paid are stored in a bonded warehouse until such duties are stored what are settled. So when talking about bonded warehouse is where unpaid custom duties or any charges on custom uh, are not been paid by the exporter. So what will happen such goods will be what will be stored in the warehouse, in the point of the warehouse, until such cost duties is being set to. So that is one of the what portion of the point of the warehouse. We also have the state warehouse. This is where each state warehouse is actually owned by the state. That is why it's called what state warehouse. And the major purpose of having such a warehouse is to is to store any form of contraband goods. So this is the place where con con goods that are being contraband by the government. Goods that are what, that are banned by the government, goods that are banned by the government are what um, usually stored in the warehouse. So any form of contraband goods are stored in the state warehouse. So the next warehouse we have is the wholesaler warehouse. This is the warehouse owned by the wholesaler. So the wholesaler store the goods in its what in its warehouse. So it's usually owned by the wholesaler. So the retailer warehouse also is owned by the retailer. Where they store their goods, and we have also have the public warehouse. This type of uh, warehouse is usually owned by private individuals or individuals which actually sublet such warehouse for st storing of goods to the public. So, it can be owned by what by an association or by an individual, and such individual made this available to the public for in payment of what some charges and money in return. Now, next we have the manufacturing warehouse. Manufacturer warehouse this is where. A producer of a goods store its goods after after production. So when the goods are being produced, what happens? The, the manufacturer will be able to store its goods for safekeeping. Now we have factors to be considered in citing a warehouse. A lot of factors that have to be considered when a warehouse is to be cited. So number one, we have um, we have location of the warehouse has to be determined. So we have to determine the word. We have to consider the word. The first factor is that nearest nearest to the market. So number two, number three, nearest nearest to the distribution center. 
so distribution center so number four we have to consider the operation cost operation cost number five also we have to consider the cost of building cost of building the warehouse so we have to watch the first factor is to consider the location of the warehouse where is the warehouse to be located that have to be what's considered the next thing is the nearness to the market so the what the warehouse to be what to be built have to be what very near to the market and also is to the nearness to the distribution center so the warehouse have to be very near to the distribution centers like coca cola is we are very near to the distribution center and the next thing is the operative cost the operating cost or the operation cost the cost that we use to be running the warehouse also have to be considered so because some warehouse require large operation costs so we have to determine the cost of operating such a warehouse the next thing is the cost of building the warehouse so also have to be considered before citing a way warehouse now the next thing is the advantages of warehousing we're going to look at the advantages of warehousing so in this area we're going to look at that in this area advantages so is that it ensure um is ensure it provide it ensure um ensure security of goods or provide security for goods or security for goods so ensure security of goods and also it's it ensure um provision of goods are end of demand and provision of goods ahead of demand so it ensures that what goods are being provided ahead of what demand number tv is that the warehousing provides what credit facilities to ensure that credit facility are being provided so it provides credit facilities so it ensures security of goods so it provides what provision of goods ahead of what demand ensure that goods are being provided ahead of demand and also what provide what credit facility so it provide, also provides employment opportunity of employment opportunity so it provides op employment opportunity to the populace so it provides ensure security of goods provision of goods ahead of demand gives um, it also provide um credit facilities and also it provides provision of employment okay it's prov it provides provision of employment and also gives credit facilities and also it ensures that seasonal problem is being solved so so it eliminates seasonal seasonal problem so let's see the advantages of the warehouse so it's ensure security of goods so that the goods being stored in the warehouse are being what secured and protected and the next one is that it's provision of goods ahead of demand since the goods are stored before what before they are being used or until they are being used what will happen goods will be provided before the consumer actually demand for them the next one is provision of credit facilities since we also be provided what happened there are some um sorry provision of storage facilities that's an error actually be storage facilities provision of storage facilities so since some goods will be stored in the warehouse, what happened some storage facilities will also be provided so a lot of storage facilities will be provided like um like large um tank and a lot of things where you can easily so can even can easily be stored in order to what to prevent some theft on the goods and privilege of the goods now the next one is the provision of employment opportunity so it's provide employment opportunity to, to those that was that ensure safety of the goods in the warehouse and also personnel in the warehouse the next thing is help to eliminate seasonal problem so since the warehouse is being provided what happened the problem of seasonality 
that are attached to the goods in production and also in the state of the goods have been what has been eliminated since the goods will be stored before they have been what needed. The next one is the disadvantages of warehousing. Well, the disadvantage of warehousing is that the goods might be difficult in what they might be difficult in accessing the goods in from the warehouse that also serves as what as a disadvantage and goods stored for warehouse might not be what secure and protected and that can lead to theft and those are the major those are the major disadvantages you can see in warehousing. Now this topic we look at the meaning of warehousing, we talk about the type of warehousing, like modern warehouse, store state warehouse wholesaler warehouse, retailer warehouse, and also we look at the public warehouse and manufacturing warehouse. We also look at the fact that the factors that have to be considered in citing a warehouse. We also talk about the advantages of warehousing and we also look at some of the disadvantages of warehousing. So if you are having some confusion about the topic, do replay the video for better understanding. And again, some questions will be displayed on your screen. You do where to attempt such question. Thank you.